Blue 32. I can't hear you. Where are the fuck you at? This is Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Kendrick, we need your assistance. Section 80. Where, where is Section 80? I can't find Section 80. High power. <laughs> not power. Where? Where? I can't find Section 80. The sky is falling. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's not good, Kendrick. We need you to need some more help than that. We'll die in the morning. <laughs> Section 80. All right. Uh, Kendrick, we need, we need some assistance with this. Uh, this is not helping out in any moment. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Uh, you, it seems like you're getting a tattoo. I guess we're we're all fucked right now. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't just doing that. High power. Stupid. Oh god. Sex. Sound crash music. <laughs> Fire topics. Let's go. This is gonna be. I get since we're talking about love, betrayal, and all this. Kevin Hart, his boy, uh, Man, Jonathan Todd that, Jackson, that is, is trying to extort Ugh. the boy for a ten million dollars. In his cheating scandal. Wonk, wonk. In Weren't Las they Vegas. homie to like fifteen years, homie? I think so, he was about to do four four years. I no, thought. no, no, no. I said they were friends yeah. for like fifteen years. God, and, and the that thing is, is damn. And, and the money, thing is, sh- money, money changes. Talks. Yeah, money changes everything. Oh mighty dollar! I'm not going to entirely say change. What? It makes yeah. you more no. who you really it's are. A, it's a sleep. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a thin sna- little. That's a that's a snake ass nigga. That though. is though. Well, he put it years though. Fifteen years. And he put him. But see, but he already put bread in his pocket though. He put him in movies. Commercials. Like, I, well, well, yeah, because like, let's say, fifteen years, a motherfucker wasn't being his true self to Kevin Hart, right? Mm-hmm. But what if he was? They started off, they were like click tight and cool, and then as he got big, he got big. What's the name? Just grew paid, jealousy or paid less attention to his boy. Yeah, and that that as well. And then he So you he, think he you think he gave some money just like, "Hey, shut up. I'm just going to do business." <laughs> no, hey, he t- take this mail. Hey, you you be my friend. I'm just going to keep working. Hey, girl, put the camera right here. Say that's recorded. And when we get this, we're going to get this bread. So, you've been around Kevin Hart for 15 years and you wanted 10 million. And you didn't know that Kevin Hart Already publicly said he cheated on Tori. <laughs> think he was not gonna like. You think he was gonna give up the bread because of his image? Like Kevin's a nigga, <laughs> and Kevin didn't have ten million in liquid assets just to drop on a dime like that. I don't care how much money he makes in the box office or how much money he makes on the road. People are not just gonna drop ten million like it's a fucking ransom over some. Side pussy. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. If it was his kids being kidnapped and for ransom, yeah. that's another that's story. That's another story. That's another story. But over some side pussy, nah. nah. Dude had a bad plan, bad friend. You know, it, I, I talked about this with my roommate, and I kind of agree with him. He was like, and, and kind of like give a side out to my friends. Like, if I fucked up, y'all going to do some shit like that? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, keep watching me motherfucking up. <laughs> <laughs> Watch all you niggas. Keep my head. I got one. I, I, okay. As, uh, as Arsenal you. said, the, a snake's biggest fear is a lawnmower. So I'm going uh. to keep, keep my grass low. But, I, I mean, <laughs> I trust you guys. You guys are good people. You guys are solid. Mm-hmm. Um, How long will we be friends for, Marco? Oh, <laughs> Apparently not long <laughs> enough for some people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, what would you do in that situation? What do you felt that portrayal? Would you like... If you were Kevin, if you were Kevin, you know that nigga about to go to this prison. You'd be like, would you send books to to some dudes, uh, some money in some guys' books? Like, hey, rough this nigga up or, 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 or kill the motherfucker. Like, my roommate was like, I'll kill his ass. I'll kill him. Try to. Ex- I wouldn't. That karma him. gonna get him. That karma's gonna. You believe get him. in karma? I do. Do you believe? Oh yeah, in karma. 
it, karma, yeah, no. karma goes by many names. You, the, the universe. You, you, you get in <laughs> what you put out. <laughs> do you believe in karma? And I hope you do. It makes its way around. It may not be exact, up on you but it'll, it'll come at you. <laughs> Kevin Hart's like, look, I'm going to find the most hung homo thug <laughs> to Stupid. give you the Booty. most <laughs> penetration, <laughs> gaping Stupid. hole that you will <laughs> ever experience in your entire adult life. The Fuck game. with me. Ten million dollars, huh, <laughs> motherfucker? You're gonna get ten million strokes. That's what you're gonna get. Booty gang, nigga. You're gonna get ten, <laughs> ten million, million strokes, stitches. Ten million stitches from the booty goons, nigga. The Fuck booty with goons. Me. The booty but booty Don't you gang. ever in your life think about doing some shit like that. My booty goons gonna get you. Be like Ray on some Ray J shit. Nigga, I got booty goons, homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do nothing because I do believe in karma and it, <laughs> and, it and it goes both ways, cause like <laughs> like the niggas in jail, but no. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh <laughs> I feel like for me, putting that energy out, it's gonna come back to me negatively one day. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do I that. I think at the end of the day, Look at y'all I would not be being petty. I, I would people, be. I let I people would, shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah. At the end of the day, I just I'll watch. be more. Yeah. I'll be more you hurt uh-huh. more than anything. Like especially if I viewed that person. As my motherfucking dog, like I put money in you and your family's pockets, like, and this is the you know, and the and it still wasn't enough, you like, bitch, mate, nigga. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like something from a drug movie. This is actually yeah, entertainment. You know what that's I mean? what's crazy about Painful. it. Yeah, it's like paid in full. Like, nigga, you hot right now. I can't, you know, I can mm-hmm. give you money, but it's like, no, I want to hit the block. Like, dude, mm-hmm. you just got out. Why would you do that? <laughs> three, three, three occasions in there. Yeah, that one, uh, where where Money Mitch gets shot. Yeah, by by his quote unquote boy Rico. Money Mitch's own uncle kidnaps his his his, his own his, his own his, family. His, like, yeah, and his, their his little brother, nigga, money man. And that nigga was just on the block. He wasn't even like. He killed and he killed his nephew. Like killed, no, killed his little brother. Mm-hmm. Uncle did that shit. Um, okay, Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, are they getting canceled? <laughs> the putty pop, <laughs> the pudding pop, and the pie piper. <laughs> the putty pop and the pie piper. It's a lot of peas going on here. <laughs> <laughs> the pudding pill popper <laughs> and the pie piper. I feel bad for Bill. Why? America's dad. All he was trying to do was buy a network. <laughs> I just feel like now. he was just set up because they they was trying no. to do it. Yeah. I, I believe that. Oh no, I believe no, that. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah, he shot himself in the motherfucking foot. Plaxico for 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 you know. <laughs> Cheddar Bob. I mean, I it personally. Popsicle? No, Plaxico. I personally <laughs> believe all these chicks was using that as a party drug because that shit was Quailus, supposed yeah. to be a party drug at yeah, the time in the seventies, I guess. And he already went to court for this years ago. So somebody whoever's behind the scenes with these women really want that nigga go there. Whenever, yeah, he'll take. They'll take it to this court. If it don't work, they are gonna keep keep, <laughs> keep taking the different courts until he finally was convicted. And I'm like, okay, they like they, they got somebody turn has, that a, shit. has a motive, and mm-hmm. my money's on him trying to buy that network. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it had to be. I mean, after three three attempts and stuff, it's like, man, we wanna get this thing. Okay, all right, we're tired here in this conversation. He's almost old. Uh, just go ahead. He's done. Like we heard this so many times. There's too many people. But there's so many people that did the same thing and they're Yeah, here we go like, with this yeah. one. And that's that, that's I, that whole thinking freely and love conquers <laughs> all bullshit. <laughs> go down the drain. And then America will let you know you're still a nigga. And mm-hmm. that's exactly what happened to Cliff Huxtable, aka Bill Cosby. He thought that he could just do the same shit as Roman Pulaski, who also got canceled from the Motion to Picture Association. Um well, the Academy Arts, you know, he got canceled too. You know, Harvey Weinstein, Donald Trump, and all these motherfuckers who've been alleged sex, you know, uh, offenders, they they got canceled in a different way, but they're not going to get the slammer because yeah. it's just, like I said, people, like, I know a lot of black people are like, well, that's fucked up, you know, justice has got to be served on all boards. I agree with you, my brother, I do. But we got to realize we're black. We have social constructs that we have to operate on a daily fucking basis. I can't afford to make a rolling stop on the right hand side. Hell so, no. But Billy can. He could talk himself out of a ticket. I can't. I know the shit's not fair. It's how you play the game. Bill Cosby has to realize, like, dude, you are a rich black man in America. You are a prime target for some bullshit. 
Everybody like, what about OJ? OJ was okay. OJ was <laughs> black too, even though he called himself OJ. And look what happened to him now. He thought that he was, you know, bigger than being be, his black. money. Now look at him. He just, I mean, look yeah. at the whole timeline. Like he won back then, but, but that nigga paid, in and out of jail. Yep. Yeah, he got in jail. They're gonna life. ruin your fucking life. You may get one small victory. But best believe the war is far from over, and they're going to win. They're going to make sure they win. And you went mm-hmm. back for some memorabilia. It's a slow torture. Yeah. So. And he didn't help either. What if I did do it? Right. Yeah. Book, dumb shit. Book by dumbass number one. Okay. And, and, and then, number, well, number one, the bestseller. Okay. Yeah. And now, and now with R. Kelly. Now yeah. people had this hashtag. What if I mute. did pee? They had the hashtag mute R. Kelly movement. To pee or not to pee? Sis- sisters <laughs> had a, sisters had enough. That is the question. Sisters had enough with R. Kelly's antics, you know, and he came out and he said, well, they're trying to, you know, cancel me over some alleged rumors. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> we <laughs> seen you pee on a minor. What are you talking about? La, 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 la. He got to play the game till the ends, till, till the wheels fall off. Though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. This nigga really acting like he's the victim. Right. I'm, hey. Kells. Hey. I Kells. Don't, I don't deny, deny, deny. I don't see nothing wrong. <laughs> Take that shit to the grave Kells, like a lot of these homie. people do. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you can't sit here and play the innocent role, man. We've really? been seeing visual, I mean, factual evidence of you peeing, come, and peeing all over again. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we're not stupid. Yeah. The fuck, man? I used, stop, have, stop, I used to have that Stop tape. the shenanigans, homie. I mean, you make I used beautiful to have music, tape. but, dog, uh, yeah. You, you, can't, you can't hide that <laughs> shit. Because, like, aside from the 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 one he, the girl he's peeing on, there's another video. He, he eating this girl from, from the back. She's on this uh, computer chair. Somebody knocks on the door. He looks up. Yeah. It's like, that's that nigga, dude. <laughs> that's that nigga. He both said, yeah. And then remember we talked about the house yeah. in Atlanta. Uh-huh. He had, like, girls, like, supposedly oh, yeah. girls in there against their will. They yeah. learn how to be sex slaves. Like, Kels, all this could have been avoided if you just be with women yeah. your age, man. <laughs> <And> Marco, <laughs> DMX confirmed it, too. I listened to a radio interview. Uh-huh. And he was there. On that same scene I was ta- just talking about. Because I was in a studio somewhere. He said he was doing a song with Kells. He showed up to the studio. He said he was in, he was like, um, I think he was trying to get, get a beat to take with him. Yeah. And um, they're like, it was, I think it was R. Kelly's manager or something that was there. And he never seen Kells in the, in the studio. Kells was like in another room behind the door. So he asked the manager, like, yeah, ask him if I can get the. He didn't know Kells was in the next room. He saw the manager just lean over. Hey, can DMS get the uh, the beat? He told him, nah. And I remember that video. He was like, yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the same scene I watched back then is the same scene DMX was talking about in this radio <laughs> interview. Like I, like I said, for, so all, that for all the niggas was- who defend R. Kelly vehemently, I always ask you this one question. What is that? Would you let R. Kelly be around your 17, 16, 15-year-old uh, daughter? No. If you believe that nigga is so innocent, why don't you have your daughter stand next to that nigga in the room by themselves and see what the fuck happens? <laughs> if your answer is hell the fuck no, then you better reevaluate your fucking defense on R. Kelly. Period. Give your daughter a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. But R. Kelly is, so, is R. Kelly canceled? Are you guys canceling R. Kelly? Nah, no. The music's too good. I guess the I mean, music's too good. I mean, okay, so <laughs> when you say cancel, like, yeah. do you mean we Please cut elaborate. off all listening yeah, to, elaborate, to his music? Anything that's Kells. I mean, music. I mean, because oh, because to me he ain't shit, but <laughs> I still I still he listen. He got to hits though. I yeah. still go back and listen hey, to like he twelve players. So. Right, he's like he ain't shit. But that nigga got hits. Yeah. <laughs> he made TP2. Yeah. I know why. He made TP2. He's stupid. And, and yeah. TP3. Uh, Players <laughs> only. <laughs> he did a song with Gaga, guys. Lady Gaga. So they can make Gotham City, for God's sake. He wrote, he wrote music for Michael Jackson. For MJ. And Celine Dion. And Celine Dion. And AJ, others. nothing but another. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Yeah. Classic. Remember that. God Remember damn it. That. Yeah. He told it on himself in his music. The nigga snitched on himself since the new Jack Swing. Come on, man. The jig is up. He took he took air off. My mind's telling me no. He took air. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> he took, he took, he, I don't want to hurt nobody. He took Aaron uh, <laughs> My thing, is, that, my thing is this. He took Aaron Hall style and <laughs> made it better. That's all I have to say uh, about that. I'm, all right. No, no real. I guess no jury on canceling people. And, and I'll have to say this, Jim, because my, my trainer said it on Twitter. Okay. He said... You can, you can damn never. It. There it goes. God damn it. <laughs> it we goes. was almost there. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say verbatim, but he said, you, ne- you never have to cancel what you never subscribe to. Hey. So you've never subscribed. You never fuck with Ken- Kanye, Kells, Bill Cosby. You don't have to worry about canceling because you never subscribe to them. Right. I'm still watching the Cosby show. I'm still listening. It actually. didn't <laughs> It didn't teach me to okay. drop Quaaludes in a drink. What the fuck? I now, speaking of social constructs, you got your boy g out here. Punching, punching officials in the face, and having <laughs> kilos of coke out there in Sweden, and would he get a slap on the wrist? And you're free to leave, sir. I don't like him. He copying my name. And, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and it's crazy because it's, cra- it's crazy because in um, what happened to Freddie Gibbs when Freddie Gibbs was out there, he got in arrested. Europe, he got arrested over a rape allegation that he didn't even he didn't commit, yeah. and that motherfucker was stuck in Europe for like. Four months. Yeah. Over a fucking accusation that was proven false. I I heard about it. this 20. nigga G Easy punched security guards and had kilos of coke in Sweden, and they were like, "All right, you can leave. <laughs> don't do this again, <laughs> sir. When you come back, don't 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 do this again. Okay. This is your first back, warning. You come back. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and that's sad too because I I, I, I listened to the Freddie Gibbs album in twenty. 20- huh? oh, okay, he got fined for that. He got fined. Uh, that's still a slap on the wrist. I slap on the wrist. Because Freddie Gibbs was behind bars. Yeah. And I heard that. Because I heard his album on 20, on 20 the camera. He's like, yeah, I've been in for like. Come on. I mean, those are two different allegations. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rape, rape is, I guess, I would say a more serious charge than drugs, even though it's false. You know yeah. what I mean? But supposedly g had paid, had to pay fees and wasn't necessarily a slap on the wrist in my eye. I mean, like, he still had to pay the pay the cost and supposedly the security guard was just in in uh in the got, wrong? he got hit in on a on a like trying to stop g g easy mm. uh g easy was actually going after a fan that was being very like crazy towards him and he just kind of got caught in the crossfire but still had to pay obviously Dang. yeah i read that somewhere <clears throat> Back to you, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> then crossfire. Here comes. Yeah, then here comes the. Uh, here comes the ultimate question. Okay. If Jeezy was black, did the same thing. His he, ass would have been jail. He going to jail. You <laughs> <laughs> gonna throw the book at his black ass. <laughs> We're not sending you back to America. Nah, you're, you're staying at the ball, <laughs> the ball you brothers. You stay here with us. You stay at the ball brothers. You're yeah, going, you ain't going stupid. nowhere. <laughs> sorry, really quick. Sorry to, I forgot to mention it. Going back to Bill, what do you? <laughs> I'm sure I know, but what do you guys think about Yale trying to rescind his uh, nope. degree? That's no. Mm-mm. No, they did. Oh yeah, he uh, got canceled oh. all yeah. on all boards. He got canceled like. From from uh, Disney, from all boards, from from movies, shows, everything. Different, different. Well, I think that's so messed up. As far as the degree, it's like he paid for that, like he earned it. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just, I never really understood. Like even with like sports and stuff, when like, okay, I use this example. So what's his name? Um, Armstrong. Nice Armstrong. Wow. Yeah, that was different. He used drugs to get to where he was at, right? Yeah, right. PDs. Whereas with Bill Cosby, whatever sex he, allegations of what a rape, you know, that had nothing to do with his degree. So to t- yeah, to still, strip yeah. somebody of something that they earned. That has nothing to do with it. Like I just, I don't understand that. I don't like fucking USC. understand it's that. The image. Like you, I was it's about to bring up. And USC. then they took it's his. The, didn't they the take USC. his star it's too? The they took the, the star too, it, right? It's, it's the image. If yeah. if he would have, if they, if Yale didn't rescind that shit, then that's just a bad look on them. Mm-hmm. It would say. But at the end hey, of the day, we, it's like, like what he, the fuck? Like give him. Okay, that's cool. People, do that, but people, give him his money back. People are. <laughs> just give him his fucking money. Just put people, an asterisk by people, his name. Yeah, people are just so concerned with perception and how the, how the public opinion of other people. It seems like they don't want to look like they're co-signing this type of nigga. Give him his money back yeah. then. Give him his money back. <laughs> like, but they ain't gonna do that. I just think that's not yeah. fair. And of course, of course, it, nothing's not fair. fair but I'm just saying. But period. Quick, like, quick, 
quick question though, I just want to bring this up. Like, like you know, from that they're taking like statues and stuff away. You think as far as fair as like they're taking that because of like Bill Cosby did? Is you think it feels fair as like the same way as like the Confederate? Remember that com- that shit was the, the Confederate, Confederate statue. Do you think like no, c- yeah. compare and contrast like what Bill Cosby did and what the Confederates did hundreds of years ago? I how mean, do, I, I can't like, I can't compare four hundred years of captivity to like drugging women. To it's different. I'm not trying to be insensitive to because they take it out from the, there for what well, they back all to that. the so grievances of each. Well, <laughs> my question is this: What was the statue for, other than the the, <laughs> the 400 years of captivity? Well, the, well, remember those statues weren't even there after the Civil War. Those statues were in place during the Jim Crow era to let niggas know, like you, you will always be second class. That's an intimidation factor. That's when. Uh, people in the South would like kill, lynch, hang people, and place a statue right here and let them know, like, look, Robert E. Lee statue right here in the South, just to give y'all motherfuckers a reminder. Oh, yeah, we're going to call that uh, Robert E. Lee Boulevard, whatever's Confederate General over here, and this yeah. Soldier Street over there, and over here, and yes. Yeah. And so, so they, what? And so they took that and took the earth off, and America got pissed about the situation. Now, yeah. considering that you know, Bill Cosby. Um, doing all this that shit with you know with the trial and everything, and he got convicted and stuff. They're gonna take this statue. Do you guys think that's even though it has nothing to do with that? And you take it. You guys think that's fair and unfair? I mean, I just say let the man just go to prison. If he's found guilty, like everything else is just gonna, you know. I mean, because it's because you know it's kind of it's funny though because like as much as it's like if a person like let's say if a person a person who has a college degree goes to prison over a crime to do the school does the school take away his degree no like mm-hmm. nigga you just a nigga who's a college graduate that goes to prison yeah, yeah. and it, it, it's so funny but it, like I said it's public perception the public opinion they don't want that they don't want that look you know like Yale is like oh you're co-signing Bill Bill Cosby. And I'm gonna send my daughter to Yale, and y'all that cool is, with motherfuckers like Bill Cosby? That's that's, that's not, their logic, that, though. That's yeah. how they're gonna no see logic it. That's behind that. It, it, <laughs> okay, so I'm just it's saying, like, they're, they're, it's like damage control, like yo, right, like. So it, <laughs> this is my thing. Um, if he truly did that shit, all this shit is just karma for him. Like all that hard work, all that money to watch it go and get taken away. Mm-hmm. That's just proper karma happening. But if it wasn't something he did, and he he just keep being accused, and that's fucked up. That's man. super fucked up. Like yeah. like you know, I, I'm trying to think like, yeah, he did all that work and shit. But like, if he doing some fucked up shit, yeah, it's the 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 universe is gonna equal 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 everything out. And to me, that's. That's equaling shit out for him, like, yeah. Because to watch to to have something he that that's like so celebrated taken away, that's 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 a painful equalizer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I think he had a statue in in, in Disneyland or like a, like a Disney office or something like that, and they took that shit away from. They shit. took his star from Hollywood, right? I think. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know I that. They probably that. took his star from Hollywood. Yeah. Like they, you know. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all fucked up, man. Because yeah. like you look at all the stuff he's did, you know, all that goes to waste when you, like like Eddie Griffin said, if you're a black man in this business, you're not gonna walk away clean. They're gonna they're you gonna find some kind of them. dirt on you. And like and like I said, hopefully like, LeBron James, you listen feel, to this, don't do it. <laughs> like I said earlier, I feel like this is a plot, man. Like, even though there's him doing that shit back then, I don't know if it's entirely uh, the timing the, the, of the, it. The, I don't know if it's entirely the way they're explaining how it happened. Yeah. You know, maybe these girls are just having fun and shit. But I feel like somebody has it out for him, and they succeeded. Yeah, because. His image is tarnished like a motherfucker. His show ain't really up on certain networks. But Seventh Heaven's Losses still playing. F- hey, <laughs> that motherfucker ain't black. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Phil> <laughs> he, loses, he lost a star, yells, them withdrawing a fucking degree and shit. Like, whoever did, who, whoever is up to this, I feel like has something to do with the network he's yeah. trying to buy. And the, man, the man made Fat Albert too, man. <laughs> 
But the only reason why I'm just like, uh, is because you keep bringing the universe into it, which I get. I get the karma thing. But so it's like, so karma is insensitive or karma sensitive to only like if you not black is what is that what you saying? No, no, nah, not at all. Because Mr. Seven Heaven probably going through some shit that we don't know about. <laughs> but he still got his show playing. <laughs> So the fuck what? He, he probably wouldn't get the same he, checks he probably, as Bill he probably, Cosby. He probably can't get work anymore. Yeah. You yeah, know? like he's his done. Seven Heaven show is up, but he probably seven get, you know. Heaven. Roman yeah. Polanski, <laughs> Roman Polanski can't fuck come back show. to the U.S. <laughs> I said that was my show. Hello. <laughs> that show sucked in. I, I didn't <laughs> fuck with that show. Heard, I watched it. Shout out to Jessica, Jessica Bill, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roman Polanski can't come back to the U.S. Ugh. He fled the U.S. after, you know, and he, but the crazy thing, he, he won an Oscar Damn. when he fled. It's like, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Hello? He can't go get his Oscar. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, wait. So he won it while he was gone? Yeah. Missing? Or he was nominated or what some shit. What the fuck? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> ah, if he won, it's like, oh, uh, well, you guys already know. Roman yeah, can't you know? be here tonight for, for uh, usual reasons. Or, usual. or <laughs> obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. Yeah. So uh, I'll, ta- I'll take this for... I'll take this home. Right. For me. For me. I'll, I'll put it on my shelf. I'm pretty sure Woody Allen is th- somewhere shaking in his boots like, oh, shit, man, I'm next. <laughs> he probably is, man. Yeah. Oh, Woody, Woody Allen. He's still living ass. shit. Yeah. Allen Mary's but, daughter. But, yeah, like, Mary's daughter, you know, but, for yeah. for us, we see it publicly. But, yeah. But for everybody's personal experiences, mm-hmm. like, I'm just speaking on Bills. He's probably... His stuff is just just so happens to be public. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mr. Mm-hmm. Seventh Heaven, on the other Seventh hand, is probably Heaven. going through some yeah. shit we, we don't true. know about. Yeah. I wa- and I watched Dawson's Creek. <laughs> that was oh, shit, no. too. <laughs> all right. I loved all the white people show James back in the Vander. day. All right. Uh, <laughs> NBA playoffs. Yeah. LeBronto. LeBronto. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> yep. In other Le- news today. <laughs> Turn an O2 into an O3. Three. Guys playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's like that. Drake is crying somewhere, <laughs> catching L's. His Raptors, <laughs> and and Rihanna saying that we ain't friends yeah. no more. Drake, Drake always catch L's and bounce back. <laughs> yeah, he'd be back. <laughs> bounce, bounce back. I'm about to but I'm surprised with what, what Boston's doing I'm against not. Philadelphia, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Zach. Oh, I'm God. sorry. I'm sorry, Zach. The I'm sorry, Snickers. Bro. You're my nigga, man. But hey, man. I look. I kind of oh, saw it. He's dude. snickering. I'll save you a seat next. To, I'll save you a seat. I told him, yeah, because you know I was kind of like, hey, man, Boston's kind of moving and grooving. Like he like, but the Bulls are sitting on the couch. I'm like, all right, well, we got a spot for you. <laughs> <laughs> we got a spot on the couch, dog. Like a, a seat at the table, like. <laughs> You you know you looking like you about to join us. <laughs> yeah, man, it's not looking good for Philly, man. We all gonna they, see they, that the They're dishonoring oh. Meek Mill being released, and and don't get don't get me wrong. Like I thought they were going to the conference finals. Well, it's not over, but yeah, I you know I assume they would like just breeze through to to the conference finals. Maybe like go six games each, or five yeah. games each uh, conference. But yeah, like you know <laughs> I I I think Joel Embiid is a monster. I think uh, Ben Simmons is one point. One uh, jump shot away from becoming like a man, just modern get that day shit LeBron. Donovan Mitchell, man, I'm sorry. You know? Donovan Mitchell has been like balling a lot. I don't mean, I don't know. I, I think Donovan Mitchell deserves it, but I think the league already has their rookie of the year and they want to give it to Ben Simmons. Yeah, because, you know, red shirt, whatever. Fake, <laughs> nah. fake, fake uh, uh, hashtag fake rookie on Twitter. Um, not a rookie. Uh, yeah, hashtag not a rookie, my bad. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, well, you know my personal view on that. Yeah. Me and Zach talked about that on yeah. the pod last one. Ah, Zach. Because yeah. Donovan Mitchell is Check it out, you hooping. guys. <laughs> He's hooping. Like, yeah. I feel like it's not Spider fair. Mitchell. What's his name was last year's draft, not yeah. class. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I you don't know. know. NBA with these twisted and, rules. And, 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 and if he, that's the case, Greg Oldham been a rookie for four years, <laughs> three years. <laughs> and, 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 you know, there's there's uh, that whole thing of him being a rookie in the playoffs. LeBron didn't go to the playoffs as a rookie. Mm-hmm. Michael did though, yeah. MJ. That's why I was saying like that. Like, well, yeah, I mean, that's up to know. up to K. I think Carmelo Anthony went to the playoffs too as a rookie. Yeah, but and, and look at him now. Yeah, check <laughs> him out. Damn, check me out. Oh uh, man, um, I know I just don't put this one in here. Is Donald Glover the most talented artist of our generation? Is he closing the gap of Jamie Foxx as a Renaissance man? 
mm-hmm. most talented artists of our generation. As far Multi-faceted, as multifaceted, like, yes, but yeah. most talented. I mean, artists that's that's broad spectrum. That could be from art. Of, from pretty, much, pretty much the guy got, who got range. Who could do more He's than range. M- music. He's like a TV quadruple uh, threat. M- movies. I think what he has over Jamie is actually writing screenplays. Yeah. I don't think Jamie has done a screenplay. Yeah. Hmm. Or even you know. Yeah, that's the only thing. Jamie had his own show. He executive produced that. Mm-hmm. He has his stand up, of course, and he has his movie. He has his movies when he's serious. He has his movies when he's he has hilarious. A white famous on HBO. Yeah, yeah. But that got canceled. Oh yeah. White famous got canceled. Um, uh, Beat Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> he does different things. I yeah. mean, they were both in Spider Man movies. Yeah, different different Spider Man movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spider Man movies. Yeah, one funny. was Electro, and the other one was uh, Miles's uncle. So. So, did Jamie Foxx win an Oscar and a Grammy, or just an Oscar? He won an Oscar for Ray. Yeah. Yeah, he won an Oscar for Ray. And he won a Grammy that kind of helped his music career. Yeah, he won a Grammy for Un- yeah. Unpredictable. Oh, he did? Yeah. Hmm. I did. think so. Wait. I mean, he... I think I thought he did. No, I I believe he... I think he got... Uh, one of the albums, I think he got one. I, but I, I'm not yeah, 100% I, sure. I thought he but I don't, I don't know. I, oh, no. Hey, Donald Glover... It probably, it probably was Grammy Donald nominated, Glover but I'm not 100 Globe. He won a Globe. He won a Golden Globe. Um, he's been nominated for a Grammy. Yes, he has. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Childish Grammy. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. But I just put it up there for the listeners because I know we've been here for a minute. It, that is definitely a good debate, though. That is a very good, very good debate. So, uh, any parting words and shout outs, man, before we close this out? Shout out to Monica. <laughs> hey. Hey, boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. (laughs) Well, shout out to the lovely ladies that I um, spent time in Cabo with. And um, happy birthday, Sheena, by the way. Happy birthday, Sheena, yes. (laughs) Um, And shout out to me because. (laughs) <laughs> I risked uh, 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 my life uh, 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 twice for two people that I really fuck with. Two motherfuckers. See, see like, like, like literally <laughs> li- risked risk my life. Everybody knows I'm a little bitch. I don't even like watching scary movies, let alone fucking looking down and see nothing but rocks and dirt and doing some extreme sports. <laughs> I can't even go on a regular ass swing. What but you, I went on a I fucking know. swing. Oh, oh, oh I, I know what it is. I, so I they said do? that it's worse than bungee jumping. Mm-hmm. It's scarier than bungee jumping. And that's what I did. So it was to the point where my anxiety kicked in. And I was like, I can't do this. I started crying. And I haven't had a panic attack since last year. So it, it that shit was serious. <laughs> and then... um. So my friend was like, come on, let's do this. Just take a little shot. You got this. And I was like, no, I can't, little bitch. And then they were like, well, you guys have to pay for it. And even if you don't want to, I mean, we was already paid for. So even if we don't want to do it, you don't get your money back. Like, so it's either I take that L or I take that L and die. So (laughs) So, 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 so you had a choice. I had a choice. I had a choice. (laughs) Unlike slavery. (laughs) So, you know, so I went ahead and went with my friend. And just the initial drop was the the initial drop was the scariest part. And then coming back up was scary. Like it knocks the wind out of you. You can't even scream because that's how much energy like is just taken out of you. So when you go, it feels Sweet like you're song. dropping all the way, like you're dropping forward. Like it was just crazy. So I, I couldn't open my eyes till the end. Um, but it was, I mean, it's a cool experience. I got, I, when I was finished, I said, I'm never doing this again in my life. I can't believe I did this. Like I said, if it wasn't for that shot, I probably wouldn't have did it. And y'all know I don't drink. Y'all know I don't drink. So then we get up, they're taking our stuff off. There's four of us. Um, so two and two, we're going to Paris. Sheena and her partner were not able to go at the same time because they went over the, they went over the weight limit combined. So they went over by four. So then she was like, oh, I'll go, well, you know, Four the person that I hundred? went with. No, it's 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 not in pounds. So I don't know the exact um, the equivalent. What? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you, you know what? Stop what? it. Don't be saying our weight. Like, come on, man. I ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I ask a question. 
anyway so then she was gonna go with the person i went with but then that person was four over what she was so the the only person she could go with was me or she would have to go by herself so everybody's looking at me like all right nessa i'm like i will never do this again i just said that and i was like yo sheena i love you i love you to why, death why but i'm not gonna risk my because i was the only person that, that could go with that her. her everybody else had been overweight everybody was overweight like compared with her so i was the only one that was under so i could go with any of them <laughs> but we all hitting the gym after this motherfucker. <laughs> that's what i would say <laughs> all you motherfuckers we hitting the <laughs> gym we after back this to San Diego, whatever we could. All y'all motherfuckers <laughs> yep. in the Stairmaster right now. Yep. Y'all meet me at the convention center stairs you know or something. Fuck this right now. There's the beach right there. We run in the sand. <laughs> the For shit, real. Bro. That's <laughs> real. Um, but no, she she did she did say she was gonna hit the gym after that. But um, so I did it again a second time where her. You know, this time I opened my eyes a little sooner than I did the first time. When I was finished, they were like, oh, so was it easier? The second time I said, no, it was just as worse. Again, I will never do this again. I don't give a fuck if someone needs a partner. Fuck all y'all. I'm not doing this again. Um, and then she was supposed to bungee jump, and she didn't go. Sorry, baby. But she didn't go through with it because she started reevaluating her life as soon as the doors opened, and she was looking over the edge, looking at them rocks. I honestly feel like the bungee jump would have been – scarier than the swing because at least you're suspended you have cables you're holding and you just yeah bungee jumping they said they will not push you like the guy was like i've gotten so many offers like to pay me like good amount of money to push them and i i refuse every single time so you have to make that decision to jump on your on your own and he was like the best motivational speaker so the point where we was when he was like take a deep breath we was like like we was the one jumping and shit like he was that good but it wasn't enough for her to jump she started thinking about her kids and her family what if i land wrong and blah blah it was it was a hot mess i love you though sheena i love you videos out there of bungee jumps going wrong yeah. yeah and then the only person that did it because there's out of four of them four of them was supposed to jump only one did it two of them backed out one of them was over the weight limit in bungee jumping so she couldn't do it so she was the only one that got her money back one of them did it did do it and he jumped the wrong way so you're supposed to jump like this and you're supposed to like like your belly flopping on your bed or the pool or something he said, that's the only way to do it. There's no other way you can hurt yourself. This fool jumped and was kicking his legs. He could have fucked his ass up. Luckily, he didn't. But as soon as he jumped, he was like, what he just did right now, don't do that. You guys are going to hurt yourself and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, damn, son. But yeah, everyone backed out after that. So, But anyways, yeah, shout, out yeah, to, yeah. shout out to these trips and, you know, Black Girls Rock and all that good stuff. We had a good time. Uh, Mexico treated us real right. Shout out to Desi, the twerk queen. <laughs> if y'all seen my snaps, baby got a whole a whole ass, what is it called, sash? She was the winner of the twerk contest. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where the judge asked her if she had daddy issues and if, he, if she wanted him to take her home. <laughs> but that's about it. That's hella, neither here nor there. Hella shot a shot. <laughs> He did a pitch. <laughs> Hella. Now the birthday boy. Well, um, damn. Well, I can't kind of you know go off of that, but uh, shout out to me. Well, you could have <laughs> went first. I lie. I say. Mm. Well, te- <laughs> well, technically he went first. You right. You right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I'm shit. like, well, and technically, you shouted out somebody else before yourself. Yeah, happy my niece. Sheena. Yeah, my niece. I did it earlier before. Uh, you know, I'm talking about happy birthday, birthday. Sheena. <laughs> no, I just add it to her. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your turn, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, but you you went first regardless. It doesn't matter. Hey, I wasn't trying to disprove that. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I want to give well, a shout-out. That out was the point I was trying to make. Hello? To, to, okay. That's not a shout-out. I see a shout-out. Hey. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Sad conversation. Hey, chill. All right. No. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> I hey, knew it was hey, coming. Hey, it's Shaq. I'm, I'm, I'm the mediator. I'm, I'm the mediator. Honestly, though, I want to give a shout out to uh, Jason Wilson, the founder of the Cave of uh, was it Adulum or Adulum? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it is a male transformation training academy for young black boys with no father figures to become strong black men in the future when they grow up. Um, it is through martial arts discipline and love and compassion 
where they teach you how to defend yourself through martial arts, but also be able to say it's okay to cry, it's okay to feel this way, it's okay to to embrace all your emotions as a black man because you know how we grew up most of the times as black men we can't we couldn't show emotion Mm -hmm. because it makes us feel weak it's taboo but now you know with his teachings he's just teaching people how to be gentlemen how to be protectors how to be providers and still have to express your feelings so uh i just give a shout out to the guy jason williams wilson and it's out there in Detroit, Michigan. It's a great organization. Check it out. Van Lathan shot it out. I heard it on the Brilliant Idiots, and I'm just bringing attention to here on the Jig Is Up. I feel like I watched a video of him uh, teaching little teach kids his kid how to break a board, and, and he's giving him a life life lesson within yep, it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Old old black guy, bearded. He has yeah. a beard. Yeah, that's him. Okay. So it's pretty dope uh, out there in Detroit, and Detroit needs it, man. Like, honestly, Detroit's all fucked up. So is Flint. I've watched that Flint Town documentary on Netflix. Is their water still fucked up? Oh, yes, absolutely. That's... Damn. It's still fucked up out there in Flint. Damn. Sh- ain't shit changed. We got money for wars, but can't feed the poor. That's real. Oh. That Matt Damon Clean Water Foundation need to come over here. All instead right. Instead of just sticking around in the Philippines. Yeah, man, we got third world country living in here in the U.S. But if you enjoy listening to this podcast, because I know this is a long one. Jeez. As much as we love making it, but it's because we do, we love and love what we do. And if you're not being your motherfucking self by not subscribing to this podcast, you better not cancel it either. Motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You know what I got to say. The, the jig, jig is up. up. And we out. Brah. No sound board. That shit was like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> I had to break it up. <laughs> was that shit three hours? It was something like that.